Good day everyone, Pasay Botter here. We are now in this 10th game for today, October 30th, 2023. This is a Western Conference battle between Utah Jazz with the record of one win and two losses. Uh, visiting the, man, the defending champions, Denver Nuggets, uh, carrying a record of three wins and zero loss. That'll happen at actually 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I am just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. As we all know, we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel. But for those who would want to avail our premium packages or premium picks, just reach us through Instagram, Telegram, Messenger, or etc etc there you know there are a lot of options right there on how to reach us just uh, check on the descriptions of our videos and just you know we will be responding as soon as we see those queries okay and right, so let's get back to this uh denver nuggets they would actually have the home court advantage um in terms of momentum man <laughs> it's obvious uh denver nuggets got it they are undefeated still with 3-0 and utah jazz they are coming off uh, that bad loss against uh, Phoenix Suns. Now, in terms of fatigue, well, uh, Utah Jazz would have an advantage on that because um, Utah actually is coming off uh, rest. Am I right? Yeah, they didn't have any game last night. That's correct. While Denver, they actually played OKC Thunder, uh, where they actually beat OKC Thunder by... A lot of points, 33, if I remember it right. So, um, in terms of fatigue, uh, Utah Jazz would have a slight advantage because, again, this will be the second game of Denver Nuggets in two days or in two nights. All right? Now, let's take a look at the availability and the health of both teams. Now, for Utah Jazz, I see Ochai uh, listed as a game time decision. Well, Ochai is a you know is a very good scorer. Once given the opportunity, you know he can actually explode to the basket and he and he can even score. So uh, in in you know in in any case that he would be out, I'm pretty sure that the Utah Jazz they will miss uh, they will miss him, especially going up against the defending champions. Now for Denver Nuggets, it's been like this. Uh, Kankar is out, or he has been out since the start of the since the start of the season. Uh, but the Jay Huff, who has been out um, on on their previous games, is now listed as game time decision for Denver Nuggets. Still, I would have to say that Utah Jazz would have a slight advantage in terms of uh, in terms of health and availability because they only have one person uh, listed as injured. Okay, so what do we have here in terms of offense, in terms of defense? Man, Denver Nuggets is uh, relatively better than Utah Jazz. You know, they are the champions in Utah Jazz. Uh, they had a good start last season, but uh, towards you know towards the middle part and towards the end, they kind of struggled, and you know um, uh, their youth actually uh, was exposed by the better teams in the NBA. Now, on this one, this one's kind of tough because of the. And kind of tricky because of the spread. It's actually minus eight, just like what I said earlier. Minus eight Denver Nuggets. And, you know, Utah Jazz, just like what I said, they are coming off a rest. And fatigue, is, I always consider fatigue. Uh, I don't have any doubts that the Denver Nuggets will win the game. But in terms of covering the spread, that's, you know, that's, that's what I'm trying to contemplate. But, uh... Perhaps what I'm going to hold on to is that the fact that Denver Nuggets, they are actually at home. Now, I don't know if you, st if you guys can still remember, in the previous season, in the, perhaps in the past couple of seasons, whenever Denver Nuggets are at home, they just play totally differently um, as compared to whenever they are on the road. It's not like you know they're bad uh, during road games. I mean, they, they're able to win road games, but whenever they are at home, they're just a totally different beast. So this one, I'm going to hold on to Denver Nuggets. They are at home. They got the momentum. Um, and Utah Jazz, you know, they're coming off a loss. Uh, so I'm going to stick with the Denver Nuggets with the minus eight. Denver Nuggets is a very good uh, scoring team. And uh, in terms of the defense of Utah Jazz, I just don't see 
I just don't see any any enough defense that they can actually put on to minimize the the, the, the damage that Denver can do. And with the with the turnovers that Utah Jazz had um, uh, during that game against Phoenix Suns, because I watched that game, man, <laughs> they gotta you know they they gotta address that um, right away. Because if they would actually have turnovers like that against Denver Nuggets, man, it's going to be a blowout. So my pick on this one would be Denver Nuggets minus 8. Again, that's Nuggets minus 8. Peace out. Pase love. God bless.